Hey, it's Clay. Today we're doing a what's old video. But before we do that, I had a viewer to ask me if I promoted my listings. And I do not promote this antiques or vintage stuff, these bottles. None of my bottles are promoted. Uh, these antique items and vintage items I don't promote. I have some hats and some clothes that I do promote, and I promote them at about 3%. And some of this new stuff that I sell, I promote it at 3% also, or 2%, 2 or 3%. But this stuff, this, all these rare bottles or vintage antique stuff, I think it's just giving money to eBay because this stuff sells without promoting it. I do run sales from time to time, and I send out uh, offers to watchers. I do all that, but I, I don't promote it. Not these antiques. They sell good without promoting. If it got where they weren't selling, I probably would try promoting some of them, but they're selling too good now. But anyhow, let's go look and see what we sold last week. It was, had a good week. We sold a lot of good stuff. And I want to thank everybody for watching. We'll, we'll go ahead and thank you for giving me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. It don't cost anything. It don't take much effort to give me a thumbs up or subscribe. Anyhow, let's go take a look and see what I sold this past week. This Coca-Cola hobble skirt. This is a 1915 from Arlington, Georgia. It brought $80 plus shipping. That Chattanooga whiskey flask there brought $14. I have a few more of those to sell. And this is a pretty scarce bottle. It's the variation scare. Limeola bottling works from Milledgeville, Georgia. It's the size of it that makes it scarce and the, very, and the style, the shape of it. But it brought $40 plus shipping. And this Art Deco from Savannah, Georgia, it's Peters, brought $16. And this Cartersville, Coca-Cola straight side, it's got Cartersville on the shoulder. It brought $40. Plus shipping. And this Cherry Cola right here is a pretty scarce bottle. It's from Carrollton, Georgia. It shows some wear. It don't really have no major damage. It brought 40 bucks plus shipping. And this little medicine here. This is small medicine from Hawkinsville, Georgia. Brought $40 plus shipping. That was a good sale for a small bottle. And this Coca-Cola straight side, it's got the town on the shoulder. Jackson, Georgia, brought $50 plus shipping. And it does have a little damage. It has some bruises and a lip chip. And this is a pretty scarce bottle. I, I can't ever remember selling one of these. It's an Art Deco bottle from Savannah, Georgia. Conio, Conio. But it brought $45 plus shipping. And it didn't take but a day or two to sell. And this ACL right here brought $35. Stone Mountain Beverage from Atlanta, Georgia. I got one more of these to sell. And one person bought these three bottles right here. They paid $85 for them. This is a pretty scarce one here. This one brought the most from Savannah, Georgia. I sold one of them the other day. M.I. Great. This little purple medicine right here brought 11 or $12. And this pepper sauce here. This is a jumbo pepper sauce. It's been in my store for quite a while. Would have brought more money, but it's got that crack right there in the side. And it's got some bruises and small chips. I took a best offer of $35 for that. And this shell grease can. It's a one pound grease can I picked up at the antique mall the other day. It's almost full. But it didn't take long to sell. I took a best offer of $20. I think I paid six or eight dollars for it. And this bottle right here, Big Star. It's got all these stars on it, and it's got that big star on it. It brought $35. It's from Rome, Georgia. 
a neat looking bottle. And this is a knee-high bottle. These style knee-high bottles, usually you can't hardly give them away unless it's got a Scares Town on it. And I've got several more with Scares Towns. This was vowed off to Georgia. I listed it and it sold the same day I listed it. It's got a chip on the bottom for $35 plus shipping. This green blob top, T Mayor from Savannah, Georgia, brought $56 plus shipping. And this Cherry Cola right here. This is a very rare bottle. It's a Moultrie, Georgia, Cherry Cola slug plate. And this is, a, I've never had this bottle before. It's the first time I've ever had it. And a viewer bought this. I want to say thank you to the viewer and paid $100 plus shipping. This is the <clears throat> little Coleman stove that I picked up at the last estate sale I went to. And I listed it two days ago, a day or two ago. It sold for full asking price, 50 bucks. I sold it for parts or repair and I put in the title untested. I haven't tested it. I don't know if it works or not. But that's a pretty good sale. I paid $10 for it. Sold for 50 in a couple of days. I sold this Coca-Cola crate for $40. I took a best offer on it. It's in good condition. I don't have a date on it or a town. That $40 plus shipping's pretty good. This green paper labeled Pepsi bottle from Boise, Idaho brought $50 plus shipping. This ACL Upper 10 bottle from Bryson City, North Carolina brought $20. And this Cola Nip, Cola Nip from Miami, Florida brought $30. I just listed this one yesterday. And this paper label here from Canton, Ohio. The label looks kind of rough, but it brought $50 also. And this Thomasville, Georgia, uh, milk bottle Parker's Dairy brought $56 plus shipping. And this amber paper label Pepsi Cola bottle from Denver, Colorado, it brought $50 also. And this bottle right here is a very rare bottle. It's from Wrightsville, Georgia. It's got a Replaced top, it brought $102 plus shipping. And this is a pretty scarce bottle right here. It's the Cola Aid. I don't remember ever selling one of these from Atlanta, Georgia. It brought $50 plus shipping. And a viewer bought this bottle right here. This is a Capital City Bottling Works, Atlanta, Georgia Hutchison bottle. This bottle's in real good condition. It has a little bit of wear, but he paid $40 plus shipping. Thank you very much. One person bought all nine of these bottles right here. They're six paper labels and three are embossed. And they paid a total of $339 plus shipping. It's a good sale and they bought another lot. I'll be showing in just a minute. And they bought these four bottles right here. They're all four paper labels and they paid $146 plus shipping for these also. I've never had this bottle right here before. It's a non-return, no deposit, non-return orange crush. I've never had it. I took a best offer of $25 for this bottle. And I sold this, listed this yesterday. It's, uh, it's from Atlanta, Georgia, Rainbow. It says Rainbow Company on it. Pretty scarce bottle. It's in pretty good condition. It has a little hazing, but they paid 52 or $54. This was a YouTube viewer, and I thank you so much for your business. And I listed this bottle yesterday. This is a pretty scarce variation of this Red Race from Tifton, Georgia. It brought $40 plus shipping. It's in good condition also. And this is a Art Deco bottle. Big Joe from Valdosta, Georgia. It 
brought thirty dollars, I think. Plus, and I sold another one of these cardboard barge root beer uh, signs. It's a pretty big sign. It does have some water damage right there. I have one more of these. I think I had four or five of them, but they sell pretty good. And I sold this turpentine dip paddle. It's not signed. Some of them are signed canceled. This one's not, but it's in pretty good condition. I picked this up at the yard sale where I bought the two hats that had the roosters on them that I sold for $150 a piece or $140 a piece. I paid $4 for this dip paddle, sold it for 30 bucks plus shipping. Not too bad. And I just listed it about a, two or three weeks ago. I hadn't been on eBay very long. I got one more that I picked up there I'm going to be listing. And this bottle sold. It's a West Point, Georgia cherry nectar. Brought $39 plus shipping. And I sold this medicine bottle here. It's a pretty scarce bottle. Sonoy, Georgia. It's about six inches long. It brought $63 plus shipping. Well, it's Saturday morning, July the 1st, 2023. 7 o'clock, 7 a.m. This is the sales over Friday evening and Friday night. These bottles are selling good, and I'm thankful for them. Let's take a closer look and see what all sold. This is a pretty scarce bottle here. It's a chair of cola bottle from Kings Tree, South Carolina. I took a best offer of $50 on that bottle. I just listed it yesterday or day before yesterday. And this did not come out of that collection. All the stuff that, most of the stuff that that last collection I bought was Georgia stuff. One person bought these two bottles here. They're both from Sparta, Georgia. Cherry Cola from Sparta. And a medicine bottle from Sparta. And they paid $70 plus shipping for those two bottles. And this bottle here is a rare color for this bottle. It's a Coca-Cola straight side from Hawkinsville, I think. Yeah, Hawkinsville, Georgia. It does have some damage around the heel, some bruises, but it displays pretty. It's a pretty color. It brought $130 plus shipping. And this Coca-Cola straight side here from Florida. Live Oak, right there, Live Oak, Florida. Coca-Cola straight side for all $51 plus shipping. It does have a little damage. It's got a lip chip. And one person bought these three bottles. Um, they paid $197 plus shipping for them. This is a Burlington beverage, Burlington, North Carolina. It's in good condition. Been in my store for quite a while. All these, all three of these have been in my store for quite a while. This is a large, like a half gallon size, Harris Springs, South Carolina. I guess that's a big water bottle. And this is a blood purifier. It's got the, the box is in rough condition, but it's the bottle's still full. I don't want to try to take it out. That box is kind of brittle, but the bottle's full. That's a pretty good piece. I think this bottle's embossed, but that was a pretty good sale. Almost $200 plus shipping. And this is a Valdosta, Georgia Hutchison bottle. They're pretty scarce. This one does have a repair on the lip, but the rest of the bottle's in real good condition. And I took a best offer of $150 for this. Valdosta Hutchison bottle. And this bottle right here is a pretty scarce Valdosta straight side. It's the property of, and this would be a pretty valuable bottle, but it has a replaced top. So I took a best offer for $57 because of the replaced top. The, rest, the bottle looks good, it'll display good, but it does have a replaced top. The rest of these bottles didn't bring a whole lot. This is a Brunswick, Georgia Swirl. I think it brought like $25. Pelham, Georgia Bottling Works. That's a rare bottle, but it's damaged. It's got a big crack down the side and a big lip chip and some bruises. I don't it brought like $30 or $35. West Point, West Point Grocery Company. Bottling department, it's got a replaced top. It brought like $30. And 
This is a AL Cola from Atlanta, Georgia. It brought about 20 or 25. This is a State Sparrow New Grape. It brought 20 or 25. This is a Red Race from Ashburn. This is a rare bottle, but it has damage. And I took a best offer of $35, I think, for $35 or $40. And those bottles there, they rare bottles, but they're damaged. This is a Camilla Bottling Works and a Madison, Georgia, Pete Bottling Works. They brought about $25 a piece. This is a Ben Hill Fitzgerald, Georgia bottle. It's got damage also. Let's see. Right there, it's got a big chip on the hill and a crack somewhere. Maybe just bruises and some lip chips. It brought about $35. This artesian bottling works from du Dublin, Georgia. Brought 20 or 25. Helena, Georgia. This is a rare bottle, but it's in bad, bad condition. It's missing part of the top. I took a best offer of $21 on it. This is a purple Coca-Cola bottle. This is, I've sold several of these from Birmingham, Alabama, straight side. They have replaced tops. If they didn't have replaced tops, they'd bring a lot more money. I took a best offer of $33, I think, for that. This is just a red and white single dot Valdosta, Georgia Pepsi bottle. Them Valdosta ones are pretty scarce. I took a best offer of 20 on it. Two full glasses from... Laverne, Alabama, it brought $25. And this is bottle's got that, if it didn't have that big crack in the side, it would have been all right. Waynesboro Bottling Works. I took the best offer of $30 on it. And that was it. Pretty good sales. I got to get them packed up. And this big Pepsi bottle. It's a 20 inch Pepsi, it's a paper label. Not sure how old it is. It may be from the 90s or 80s. I'm not sure on how old it is. But it's embossed on the shoulder there. Pepsi Cola. I took a best offer on that. I just listed it about a week ago, I guess. And I took a best offer of $75 on that 20 inch paper label Pepsi. I have one more of them I'll be listing also. Here's a scarce bottle. It didn't bring a whole lot of money. I couldn't find one like it. I never sold one of them before. But it's Tidewater Bottling Company from Virginia. I auctioned it off. It brought $42 plus shipping. It's in good condition also. It's still Saturday morning. Bottles keep selling. Somebody bought these two bottles right here. One person did. This is a Spike It. I've never seen this ACL before from Atlanta, Georgia. And this is a Griffin Ice Works from Griffin, Georgia. They paid $50 plus shipping for those two bottles. And this is a Coca-Cola straight side with the center slug plate. Thomasville Ice and Manufacturing Company, Thomasville, Georgia. Most of these bottles, I've sold a bunch of these over the years. It's not a rare bottle. It's a rare bottle in good condition because most of the ones I've sold got lip chips or chips or cracks. But I bought a couple of cases one time from a bottle digger that lived in Thomasville. But this one sold for $49 or $48 plus shipping. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below.